I'm on a Sunseeker 131 yacht, super yacht, and I'm with the first officer, Ian, who has been showing me the control system on this boat. It's a fascinating thing, so I thought we'd actually do a separate video on it. This is Ian, and he's going to give us a quick talk through of just Indeed. how this works. Hi there. Let's have a look. So this is the, the main home screen for the system. The system controls more or less every single system on board the vessel. Um, if you go down here to the home screen, it gives you a quick overview of all the different functions. For instance, if you come up here to the power plant, that gives you everything pertaining to electricity and your generators. So if you go up there to the power overview, you've actually got both your port and starboard generator, um, as well as your shore connection for electricity. And off of this screen, you can actually stop and start generators transfer electricity from one generator or from both to both generators or over to your shore connection if you then go back down to your main screen um, you can look at your power distribution that gives you the the main backbone of the electrical system um, you can go to to both your generators they'll give you information like what the temperature is of the generator uh, what voltages it's running at, how much currency or how much current is being pulled off of that generator and you can have that for both your both your generators uh, as well as your shore connection. A quick overview on your batteries that gives you all the different battery banks we've got on the boat. Um, so in our case we've got five different battery banks, uh, one for your startups, um, one f as a backup system and then of course things like the wheelhouse have their own uh, battery bank seeing as all our systems uh, pertaining to navigation uh, run off 24 volt so we have battery banks that those run off and then charges that uh, do the upkeep of those batteries um, so on this screen you can monitor that all of that system is working in proper order um, so then you can go to things like your circuit breakers which is quite handy in the case that you are outside you're busy working with the electrical outlet and all of a sudden things go dead you can come down to the screen you can see exactly uh, which circuit breaker has gone down um, unfortunately it doesn't say why it went down but you can see where it is um, and instead of running through the entire boat looking to find that particular circuit breaker you can look on the screen exactly where it is and go straight to it and flip it back on then in the center column you've got all your systems that gives you things like your fuel tanks um, on this boat these three are your fuel tanks and then you've got a dirty oil a clean oil and dirty fuel tank um, so we've got enough oil on board to do services on our generators and storage capacity to uh, store the dirty oil that came out of those generators and main engines. Um, likewise with the water tanks, you've got your grey water and your black water and your fresh water, um, as well as the pump controls um, to control the pump out of those, of those black and grey water tanks. Um, and then you've got things like fuel transfer, so instead of going to having to go down to the engine room to transfer fuel uh, into your day tank from your main tanks while you doing a passage you can do all of that sitting right here in the bridge um, likewise if you've got a fire on board or you're taking on water for some other reason you can start up fire pumps uh, start up your bulge pumps and do all of that controls right here from the bridge uh, which effectively gives you an extra person um, that can help in that situation um, where the captain is able to control all these systems from right up here instead of having an engineer go down to the engine room to do those things. Um, then you've got a screen that we use quite regularly is the daily operation uh, that gives you a quick overview of everything that's going on in the engine room um, as well as some navigational aid um, gives you the speed of the boat what RPMs the main engines are running at um, down here you can see the, ex the exact load on, on the main engines 
um, you've got your trim tabs the fans that bring fresh air into the engine room you can control those off right there and then the quick overview of the battery voltages and some of the pump controls on here as well as the navigation lights uh, all of that is on this screen so like I said this is a nice quick overview of everything that's going on in the boat um, and you can do a, a lot of uh, controlling off this single screen as well uh, then if you go back you can go down to main engines this screen is designated for the main engines and on this you can see every single um, piece of information that you would need to know about the the main engines um, if you go further down you can get a, a general engine room um, that gives you things like hours on the main engines temperatures on the engine room itself um, temperatures of the exhausts and then once again the the engine room fans and all those things um, Another interesting feature on this boat is that we've got a fully enclosed uh, intruder alarm system um, which can tell us like a residential system if someone is opening a door while the system is activated but also it tells you things like which doors are open and closed um, and what the state of our dampeners are for those of you that don't know dampeners in the ventilation system we've got deadfalls that close off a ventilation system so in for instance if you've got a fire in the engine room um, the first thing you do is you close the dampeners and that way you seal off any oxygen that could go to that area so all of that you can see on this on this screen um, then if we come down to the trends I'm not going to talk too much about that because it's more graphs and stuff um, so like you can see here it just gives you a general um, on this screen doesn't so much uh, on this, this one you can see a bit better it gives you a general graph of what the voltage uh, and the amperage on the the different phases on the shore connection is um, but we won't talk too much about that um, over here you've got the navigation lights um, you can turn on the navigation lights um, everything from right here interestingly it also shows you whether that those lights are drawing electricity from the service batteries or from the emergency batteries um, and then down here at auxiliary systems you get a navigation screen that gives you your current position the speed of the wind which direction the winds coming from um, nice features that it gives you a Beaufort scale notation um, as well as your speed over ground and your course over ground water temperature and the depth of the water under the keel of the boat um, so this is also a very in nice uh, screen to have open especially when you're doing passages and that type of things um, then we come down to the cameras on this boat we've got uh, seven cameras throughout the boat um, that we can monitor movements in and around the boat and the nice thing is it's got a enable loop which runs it in a two minute cycle throughout the seven um, cameras and then you come down here to engine room rounds and this is this is for the guys that that know a little bit more about how things work on a yacht it's like normally you'd go down to the engine room once an hour and physically take temperatures and take notations on on all the different things in the engine room the screen enables you to have all that information on one screen and from there you can extract it and note it down without having to actually even go down to the engine room that being said we still like to go down to the engine room every couple of hours and just make sure that everything still smells and sounds good seeing as you can't get those on the screen and then as a final little thing down in the bottom here you've got a summary of all the alarms so say someone flips down a breaker or someone opens a door when the alarm system is on all of those alarms come down on the screen thank you guys very much that's it
Perfect. That's fantastic. And am I right in saying that this is mirrored in the crew cabin? This is this system is mirrored between these two screens over here. Uh -huh. There's also another one of these touch screens down in the crew mess area, okay. as well as two down in the engine room area. So all of those areas you can access all of this. Stuff. So all all of those five screens you can access and do the set have the same functionality on all five screens independently. Fantastic. That's brilliant. Thank you, Ian. It's a pleasure. Much appreciated. Cheers.